a short walkthrough of Bootstrap's websites and how you can use some of their pre-built components they have, okay? So go ahead and uh, open up your browser. And we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, Bootstrap 4. And if we come into the documentation here, and we can scroll through and see that we've got a bunch of uh, options here over to our right. And what we wanna do is we're gonna work with this section right here. We're gonna review this. You've got layout, content, components, uh, utilities, things like that. So if you uh, take, a, take a view at the uh, layout here, it's gonna take you through an overview, tell you how the grid system works, media objects, and then the responsive utilities. And uh, you can read some of the documentation here. But the, uh, the thing that we're really gonna be diving into here is the components, okay? And this is gonna give us a really awesome list of different types of components we can uh, put into our projects, such as uh, badges, buttons, button groups, cards, carousels, uh, drop downs, things like that. So let me kind of show you how this works. So uh, go ahead and click on the buttons and it's gonna give you an intro of what it is and kind of how it works. And then it's gonna give you some examples about how you can use these and incorporate them into your project. So. You can see um, by adding this class, you can see that we've got the BTN class, which is Bootstrap's class, okay? That's what adds all the padding, uh, heavier text. You can see we've got rounded corners here. And then you can see that we got a BTN primary, which gives us this blue color. Secondary is white, success, green, info, warning, danger, right? And so you can use these different classes to add colors uh, to your buttons, okay? And then as we uh, scroll down here, it teaches you how to use uh, link type of buttons. So if you want this to redirect to a URL, this button, it shows you that you can use an anchor tag here and add the BTN class uh, with a color of some sort, and then it can actually take you to a web link, okay? Um, and then you got uh, buttons, you know, with just the outlines to it. It shows you how you can add sizes uh, to the buttons and so you can see you can just add a class like a BTN large LG they have the small buttons here they've got block level buttons and so what you can do is you can actually just copy these components and put them into your project alright now please understand you don't want to get into habits of just copying and pasting components into your project it's really important that you understand uh, how these how these uh, elements, these components are working and how the uh, classes, Bootstrap's classes are working under the hood, all right? So that's, a, that's an overview of buttons. Um, we're actually gonna be working with this uh, card component in one of our projects to build a login screen. And this is one of the things that's actually new in Bootstrap 4. These cards, they actually used to call them panels, but they changed the class name over to a card. And so that's what kind of uh, gives us this uh, card form where we can add images and text and other content. And it shows you different use case scenarios and it kind of gives you a starter template to work with, okay? Um, so there's some uh, cards and then carousels are also really popular uh, in websites. These are the things that kind of give you the image slides that you can scroll through. And they've even got examples uh, how to switch through them with arrows. And one of the things also to understand about these components is these are working with uh, jQuery under the hood. And so a lot of times in our projects, we use the jQuery CDN uh, to inject jQuery into our project. And so that's what kind of allows the animations to happen under the hood. And just by adding the class like carousel slide, this is, it's gonna grab the jQuery that it needs to animate these slides for us. And you can see this one has uh, some uh, slide indicators at the bottom so you you can take this and you can really dig through uh, the HTML here uh, identify some of the classes and really study this and you can start seeing and understanding how this stuff is working so carousels are great uh, very popular we've got the drop downs the forms uh, modals um, these ones are some of my favorite I don't know why <laughs> I just think they're cool <laughs> Um, these are like little pop-ups that you can get like here's a live demo here and you can go ahead and launch it and then you can add content within this and these are giving you examples of like adding some text in here 
Um, but as you get uh, more experience with this stuff, you can add like forms into these and images and other content uh, that users can interact with. So this is just a, a brief walkthrough of Bootstrap and the uh, components uh, you can use here. I would recommend diving into all of these, the nav bars, popovers, things like that. Um, and then you can see all these uh, pre-built components that you can use in your projects. So um, that concludes this video. Uh, check out the documentation, browse through it, and get really familiar with Bootstrap. That's it.